How's it going, guys? Our video today is about liquid cargo ships. Liquid cargo ships are tanker ships specially designed for carrying liquid cargoes in bulk, such as crude oil, oil products, chemicals, and liquefied gases. Therefore, the nature of their cargo require special forms of construction and equipment. Liquid cargo ships are usually divided into oil tankers, chemical tankers, and gas tankers. Oil tankers. They are also known as petroleum tankers. These ships are designed for the transport of oil in bulk. According to their purpose, there are two basic types of oil tankers, the crude oil tanker and the product tanker. The crude oil tanker transport large quantities of unrefined crude oil from its points of extraction to refineries, while product tanker transport refined products such as gasoline, naphtha, diesel, and jet fuel from refineries to consuming markets. Product tankers normally have a cargo carrying capacity that ranges from 10,000 to 25,000 metric tons of dead weight tonnage. According to their size, oil tankers can be classified as follows. Handy size. They are tanker ships designed to transport refined petrochemical products. They have a cargo carrying capacity that ranges from 35,000 to 37,000 metric tons of dead weight tonnage. Handymax. They are also designed to transport refined petrochemical products, and their cargo carrying capacity ranges from 45,000 to 50,000 metric tons of dead weight tonnage. Panamax oil tanker. These tanker ships transport and refine crude oil. Their cargo carrying capacity can reach up to 71,000 metric tons of dead weight tonnage. Ephraimax oil tankers. These tanker ships transport crude oil and their cargo carrying capacity ranges from 80,000 up to 120,000 metric tons of dead weight tonnage. Swiss Mats oil tankers. These tanker ships transport and refine crude oil, and their cargo carrying capacity vary from 125,000 to 180,000 metric tons of dead weight tonnage. Originally, the maximum capacity of the Suez Canal. Very large crew carriers. These oil tankers, called BLCC, transport large quantities of unrefined crude oil. They have a cargo carrying capacity that ranges from 200,000 up to 320,000 metric tons of dead weight tonnage. Ultra-large crew carriers. These tankers, ships called ULCC, once were considered the giants of the seas. They have a cargo carrying capacity that ranges from 320,000 up to 560,000 metric tons of dead weight tonnage. High heat tankers. They are product carriers for the transportation of molten sulfur, dirty petroleum products, coal tar, pitch and coal tar products. They maintain a cargo temperature that ranges between 160 degrees Celsius to 240 degrees Celsius, which places a very heavy demands on the heating, insulation of the tanks and pipe work, as well as associated valves and pumps. Chemical tankers. A chemical tanker is a type of ship designed to transport chemicals in bulk. 
ocean-going chemical tankers generally range from 5,000 metric tons to 40,000 metric tons of dead weight tonnage in size, which is smaller than the average size of other tanker ships due to the specialized nature of their cargo. Chemical tankers normally have a series of separate cargo tanks which are either coated with specialized coating such as phenolic, epoxy or zinc paint or they are made from stainless steel. The coating or cargo tank material determines what types of cargo a particular tank can carry. For instance, stainless steel tanks are required for aggressive acid cargoes such as sulfuric and phosphoric acid, while less dangerous cargoes such as vegetable oil and molasses can be carried in epoxic coated tanks. All modern chemical tankers are double hole and have one tank for each pump with separate piping, which means that each tank can load a separate cargo without any mixing. Tank cleaning after discharging cargo is a very important aspect of chemical tanker operations, since tanks which are not properly cleaned can affect the purity of the nest cargo loaded. Before tanks are cleaned, they must be properly ventilated to free them of potentially explosive gases. Gas tankers. These gas carriers are specially designed to carry different liquefying gases used for energy purposes in the chemical industry and as a raw material for making agricultural fertilizers such as ammonia. Gas tankers are divided into liquefied natural gas tankers and liquefied petroleum gas tankers. Liquefied natural gas carriers or LNG. LNG carriers are specialized vessels that are used to transport liquefied natural gas under controlled temperature and pressure. A typical LNG carrier has four to six tanks located along the center line of the vessel. Inside each tank, there are typically three submerged pumps. There are two main cargo pumps, which are used in cargo discharge operations, and a much smaller pump, which is referred to as the spray pump used for either pumping out LNG to be used as fuel or for cooling down cargo tanks. LNG carriers are also known as methane tankers. Liquidified petroleum gas carriers or LPG. These gas carriers are designed to mainly transport liquefied gases such as butane, propane, propylene, ammonia, and vinyl chloride. LPG carriers transport all gases in liquid form because their physical and chemical properties do not allow them to be carried in vapor form. They are carried in two manners, by keeping the pressure greater than the atmospheric pressure and by keeping their temperature below the ambient temperature. According to the temperature and the pressure needed, LPG carriers can be divided into three categories. The full pressure LPG, which is usually a small side tanker ship with less than 4,000 cubic meters of cargo capacity. The semi-refrigerated LPG used for cargo spaces around 7,500 cubic meters, and finally, the fully refrigerated LPG used for cargo spaces between 10,000 and 100,000 cubic meters. Thank you very much for your attention. 
See you next video.